Again, she has been in double digits in every match but one this year. That was the first match of the year. She needs two kills to get there tonight. And it would also be her 300th kill of the season if she could do that. Instead, it's a kill on the other side for Bailey Green. And Antelope Valley opens game three with a point. Bailey Green with that kill. And uh, now she will go back to serve again. Good serve again from Green. Chance for AVC, but they could not corral the return there, and it is 1-1. Now serving Lorena Ramirez for the Renegades. Just missed. 2-1 AVC. Returning the favor is Lauren Devine with a service error on the other side. 2-2 Two -two in the early going in the third. This reminds me more of the first set where both teams made a bunch of mistakes. In the second set, it was BC taking advantage of some ABC mistakes to, to get out to a big lead. Blocked back is Brodus. Heathcott was there. Not a kill for Heathcott, but a kill block and... Uh, she gives BC its first lead of this third set. Now to serve Jade Delgadillo out of Tehachapi. Set for Heathcott off the heel of her hand. Overpass, and you can't do that against Darian Heathcott. She will make you pay, and she has nine kills on the evening now. Delgadillo, another deep serve. Nearly another overpass. Instead, a nice set by AVC. They get the ball to Bailey Green, and she spikes it down. Second kill of the game. And her seventh of the match, she now leads AVC. Hannah Douglas had six kills through two games. For BC, we mentioned eight kills. For Heathcott is now nine. Through two games, McKenzie Hernandez had six kills in a couple of blocks. Douglas to serve. Ramirez. Passes up to Delgadillo, and Hernandez will get the kill off the long dig attempt. 5-3 BC. So that is the seventh kill of the night for Mackenzie Hernandez. Now Heathcott will serve. And she's got herself an ace spinning off of Tago's hands. 6-3. Libero for AVC has had a lot of trouble passing, and then there's another one. Yeah, and, and she's coming up too high on those those down balls. You hate to pick on Tago, but guess what? BC's picking on Tago. Right. Well, you know, fundamentally, you know exactly what she's doing. She's coming up too much there on the pass. Again, they go to her this time. She's able to get a good pass off, but the attacking. Nice. Smart error. play there by Heathcote. Too high. And so another point, and it is 8-3 uh, now for the Renegades, looking to move in on a sweep here. That's in. Oh, wow. Heathcote spun it inside the line, and just as Hannah Pope did in the second game, Darian Heathcote serving out a string of points here. This is now her fifth point coming up. Gades on a 5-0 run. They've taken control of the third game. They already lead 25-22 and 25-16. And if you're AVC, it's get, times are getting desperate. Think about that timeout. If you are Coach Mark Cruz, a kill for Bailey Green will stop the bleeding momentarily.
Free ball sent over by Hernandez, a chance for the Marauders. Brodus couldn't get much on that. And a set to the back row and a kill for Bailey Green. Boy, she can really hit the ball when she gets a good lead up to it. So back-to-back -back kills for Bailey Green, and that is now 9-5 BC here in the third. AVC trying to keep contact early in this third set. They were unable to do that in the second. Mullins with the kill. Nice representation from the Kern Valley side of things. Of course, Dalton Gallus is coming as a starter. Now, what a senior class, huh? Yeah. And a couple of other good athletes out at Kern Valley. Brennan Medley, another one. Still have some good athletes out there, but that senior class in particular was fantastic. Oh, what a Hernandez with a club. You know, Hernandez, that ball's going down. If you look at that trajectory. Yeah, and Douglas tried to get there, but she didn't have a prayer. That now the eighth kill of the night for Mackenzie Hernandez. We didn't talk much about Ferreira and his resume. It's pretty impressive. Uh, he's done a good job here, that's for sure. Looking very comfortable right and now. Another big kill. So, you know, you're getting that uh, sort of flexibility there with her on the outside. Hernandez at 5'11 is their second tallest player. And can play those, can be flex flexible all over the place, and they're going to call a timeout. And this again, you maybe think ABC facing defeat here. Maybe you should have done that sooner, but it's 12 5 BC, and uh, the Marauders will use a timeout. So coming up again Thursday night, girls high school volleyball, Centennial and Liberty. I heard a Stockdale parent today predict that he thinks Liberty might be, might get him. Well, Liberty got him at the Clovis Invitational early right. in the season. Now, now, that was a best of three, so a little bit of a different story, but. I don't know what's going to happen. I can't, I can't tell you. I'm telling you one thing. I'm going to make sure that one guy with the gigantic feet's not going to take out our uh, power cord this time. <laughs> yeah, I think we need a bouncer over there. I need a battery backup over there. Bakersfield College leading Antelope Valley College here on Renegade Athletics on Bakersfield.com. They've won the first two sets of this match. A close one in the first, a not so close one in the second. And now in control of the third game, 12-5. Only question left in my mind now, Lewis, is will Darian Heathcott get that 10th kill to keep her streak of, well, it would be 16 straight matches with double-digit kills. She needs another one. I think she'll get it, you would think. And those are unofficial anyway. Maybe the official stat keeper, she already has it. Way long on the attack from Mariah Tatum. 13 to 5 BC. Service error giving it back to ABC, however. And now Samantha Tago will serve. Nice swing there from the middle blocker. Brittany Aguilar and a kill for Aguilar, the freshman out of BCHS. From BCHS to BC. And Tago just, just bringing those hands, those arms up just a little too high every time. And the ball's going over her head. Now Hernandez to serve, 13-6 Renegades. Looking to move to two and one in Western State Conference South play. And it certainly looks right now like they'll do it, although they call a, a double hit there against BC. So the Marauders get a point. They pull within 6, 13 to seven. They did get on a little bit of a run late in the second game, but they were down too far. If they could just stay within four or five points here and get on another run, they might have a, a shot here. Service errors are not going to help that cause. Emily Kasich serving there. And now Hannah Pope in the dreaded rotation that has given AVC so many problems. Especially 
at the start of game two. So here's Pope, bouncing the ball, bouncing the ball. And another nasty wicked, serve. That I mean, that is really serve. difficult to return, but a nice job by Mariah Tatum to not only dig that ball, but then she got up and hit it. The point is going to belong to BC anyway. It's in the middle, number 18. That's Brittany Aguilar with her second kill, and hitting through the block that time was Aguilar. I, I mean, that serve. Was this thing just went, this thing went, just just went sheared, sideways. Yeah, sure to the right. Another problem, and Heathcott was there. Heathcott right there, and there is kill number 10 for Darian Heathcott. So she's in double digits for the 16th straight game. Again, at one point this season, looking big picture now as we as we uh, approach really the end of this match, BC was 4-7, and seven, and they are now going to get above 500 for the second time this year. They were... Uh, before the loss at Santa Monica, we could go drop them back to eight and eight, but they're going to be at nine and eight, two and one in conference. A winnable game against West LA here on Friday. BC with a shot to go on a little run. That is on the line. Nice well, shot for Mariah Tatum. It was well played sequencer by Antelope Valley. They they saw that dump coming and they just played it up and they actually were able to run their offense a little bit. Seventeen to eight here. Aguilar with another kill. If at first you don't succeed, right? Try, try again. Right, she does. Absolutely. She gets the kill, and it's a 10-point lead for BC, matching their largest, I believe, in any. Oh, they did have an 11-point lead a couple times, a 12-point lead even in game two at one point at 14 to two. And then they just kind of cruised home from there. Like they were outscored from that point on. That was a big-time kill on the outside. Over here on the left side for number three, Bailey Green. She's had an impressive third game. Several good hits. She's had five kills, but uh, several others that BC really had to work to deal with. All right, Lewis, we're, we're broadcasting some volleyball tomorrow night so we can track the game. How about an official prediction on Dodgers-Mets game five tomorrow night from you? Uh, Grinky against DeGrom. Grunky, That's a pretty Grunky, good. Uh, no hits him for seven. Kershaw closes it out. Wow. It's very specific. So what's what's the final score then? What, is that like a one nothing job? That's like a one nothing job. Because the Mets have uh, DeGrom and also Noah Syndergaard available. What does that mean? Tre Trevor has, says 2-1 Dodgers. What do, two what do you mean Dodgers. what does that mean? Oh, what is what is Trevor saying? Yeah. Trevor's saying 2-1 Dodgers. 2-1 Dodgers? Pick. Yeah. Savannah Cano with a kill there out of Highland High School for the, the Renegades. That's the first time we called her name. The uh, Renegades, Carl Ferreira, getting a few of his uh, secondary players in the game. There is an ace for Delgadillo. If you look at it, he's pretty much played his entire roster. Yeah, I, I, the only ones, I, I'm not sure I've seen Brea Legend out of, out of Highland yet or Alana Sykes out of Liberty or Yesenia Vento out of Wasco. But everybody else I'm pretty sure has seen time and maybe I just missed the others. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more here on Bakersfield.com. I like that the owners and the employees of the company all live here locally. They themselves are using the exact same technology that I am. And I feel comfortable about that and I feel like I can trust them a little bit more. And anytime I have any questions or concerns, I can call somebody on their direct phone line and get help immediately. I love using the app that Teltec has. It's very convenient. If I laid in bed at night and forgot to turn on the security system, I can just do it right from underneath the cover. It's safe and it's very affordable. Teltec Security Systems, providing peace of mind since 1982. Welcome. We're live. We're live. Zach Ewing is here. I'm Lewis Amistoy. Trevor Horn's here. This is this is a, we're we're breaking new ground here, Bakersfield College volleyball broadcast. First ever. The Renegades have risen to the occasion. They lead it two games to none, and they are up twenty to nine. This will be our first uh, broadcast of a of a of a victory for the Renegade Athletics since last year, right? Yep. <laughs> since the Great Bowl game of last year, where the Renegade football team beat 
Chapey College out of Rancho Cucamonga. You know what would be, would be good to broadcast? How about some BC baseball? Good following for that program. How about BC softball? CSUB baseball we've done. Yeah, BC softball as well. BC baseball, very good following in that program. It's a lot of good local players go through there as well. We're going to probably do women's soccer, I believe, November 2nd. I think uh, CSUB baseball with, with Justin Roberts coaching now. That might be a pipeline to some more local players yep. for the Roadrunners, too. Of course, Certainly. Bob Macaluso, the new head coach, but Justin Roberts, one of his new volunteer assistants, and it'll be one area J Rob will help out in. Friend of ours. Another big swing. Pope made a good play on it, but from couldn't, Bailey Green, couldn't get yeah, it done. Good, good job by Pope even to get there. And BC basketball, as Trevor's mentioning, Trevon Armstrong, among other local products, will be here out of Golden Valley. We have, and the thing about that is that those are double header games. So the women play first and then the men. So I, we've identified at least two times we'll play. We have five total we'll do. And if Francis Mayer is really nice, we might do more. We'll see how it goes. And that's long. 22 10 now. The Renegades starting to close in on that service error. Three points away from a victory here now for BC. Heathcott will serve. Well, she got to double digits, but it was just barely by my count with 10, one of her lowest kills total of the year, but they really haven't needed her. Mackenzie Hernandez, a big day for BC. Hannah Pope has a, had a big day serving and defending. A lot of Sykes in the game now. And, uh, and Antelope Valley, frankly, has made a lot of errors. They've handed BC quite a few points in this, in this match. Too many. Hard to see them beating a lot of teams playing like that. That is out. It's another point for BC. Nice swing there by Lakaira Brodus, but it was wide. 23-10, the Renegades now two points away from closing this out. From the back row that time, Green. Should mention, this, this Antelope Valley team really almost the, the Palmdale Highland High School team from a couple of years ago. They got five players from Highland High School in Palmdale including Tiffany Matchett, who did not play tonight. And there is a kill for BC. I believe that was Kayla Romero getting the kill there, and it is a match point for BC. And without Tiffany Matchett, Antelope Valley College has been no match for BC outside of a, a nice little game one run that gave them a brief lead in game one. But this one is on the brink of being a sweep. BC needs one more point, and they've got it. That's long. And the Renegades win game 3, 25-10, and they win this match 25-22, 25-16, and 25-10. It got progressively easier throughout the night for Bakersfield College. They improved to 9-8. and eight. They are now 2-1 and one in the West, Western State Conference South Division. AVC falling to 5-9 and nine and 1-3 one and three in the conference. So, uh, Lewis, your thoughts on BC? Well, they, they started off kind of kind of sloppy there early on and and uh, didn't have to work real hard at times because Antelope Valley was just overmatched uh, in, the, in this game. Well, that's, uh, that's a wrap here from the Gill Bishop Sports Center for our cameraman Trevor Horn, producer and color man Louis Amistoy. I'm Zach Ewing, Carl Ferreira's BC Renegades. Defeat Antelope Valley College here on Bakersfield.com. Your final score again, 25-22. 25-16 and 25-10, a route in the third game wraps it up for the Renegades. I'm Zach Ewing. This has been BC Athletics on Bakersfield.com.